I've spent my life playing games and making games. Uh, growing up, that's what me and my two sisters did. It was, um, you know, us in the house with two female cats and a female dog and uh, a female guinea pig. And uh, my mom didn't really want us to watch TV, but she didn't mind us playing video games. Um, maybe it gives a single mom a break, but I think it's really because she knew that you know, that stereotype that girls aren't competitive is wrong and we actually needed to get that competitiveness out of our, us. Um, and so I grew up playing games and, you know, making robots and doing a bunch of nerdy things, but it didn't dawn on me that video games could be a career until I was 14. And I still remember I was sitting on my uncle's floor um, with donut-shaped, um, like calluses on my thumbs and I was I was like determined to beat him at Tekken um, <laughs> and it dawned on me that uh, someone gets to make video games and I thought to myself why not me why not me and uh, here I am 30 years later <laughs> Legend Award, and it's it's really quite surreal, and uh, I'm humbled, and thank you, and I you know I don't feel like a legend when I see those things like all, all those great videos up on there the screen. Games really are the work of a team, and uh, I think the teams I have had the good fortune to work with are legends, and so I want to thank the great teams. Um, you know, thanks for letting me be your leader and uh, working with you and getting to make all these ama amazing things together. Um, this year and, and actually the last couple of years have been really great years for women in entertainment. And I'm happy that this year there's a light being shone on the great women in the industry. Amy Hennig, who I've had a chance to work with, um, who's fantastic, is getting a Lifetime Achievement Award, and so is Bonnie Ross. And for all three of us, and for all three of these awards, it's the first time ever that women will be getting these awards. And that's great. And, you know, I get a lot of questions whenever I'm in an interview, actually, like, how does it feel to be a woman in the game industry? And aren't you a unicorn? And actually, there are tons of great, talented women in the game industry. They just tend to be working in the background, and um, I'm happy that this year we're shining a light on some of that great talent. And uh, I, in, in the spirit of that, obviously I've worked with a lot of great people, men and women, but I wanted to call out some of the great women I've had the good fortune to work with. So. I want to thank Melanie Tremblay, Jenna Chalmers, Heather Steele, Natalie Dubois, Chris Trottier, Geneviève Dufour, Elspeth Torrey, Rima Breck, Connie Booth, Paolo Joyeux, Kim Swift, Yara, Stephanie, Mei Ling, Anne, Sarah, Suzanne, Melissa, Christine, Karen, Joanny, Brianna, Gordana, Monica, Gwen, Trisha, Bettina, Lauren, Laura, Jessica, Brittany, Marisol, Rachel, Wafa, and Yi Ching, and so many other kick-ass women who have been there in the background making the games you love for 15 years or more. Um, this one's for you guys. And, uh, you know, making games is tough. It definitely often feels like you know, you're trying to dive off this tall building into a tiny little haystack at the bottom. Um, but my career has definitely shown me that the temptation to quit is often greatest right before you're about to achieve success. So to all of you guys out there thinking of getting a career in the game industry or you guys who are already in the game industry and you're waiting for your big break, uh, what I'd like to say say to you is, you know, hopefully you see the women and the awards going out there and the people I've named and think, why not me? Um, so please take a leap of faith and stick with it.
because the video game industry needs you. Thank you.